Um, I've been collecting stair views of the Transcontinental Railroad for about 10 years, and I have some examples here. Um, one of the things that's going on is in the 1860s, um, people, the way they're seeing the West and seeing images of the West are th through stereo views. And if you grab a coffee table book today of the Transcontinental Railroad, those are not the images that people saw then. They saw stereo views. And um, so I, th I think a lot of these images have been sort of forgotten about. And, um, and so I'm purchasing them on eBay and then we put together a collection called the 19th century um, Western Stereo Views collection. And we're hoping that um, through that we'll get a little more publicity and, and get people coming in and, and checking out these stereo views. And um, one is, again, a lot of the images have never, uh, never been published. And so um, people go through this and, and see some of these different images and maybe, you know, the, and get a sort of a broader view of building of the railroad. Um, one of the things that's going on is that this, uh, these stereo views really fill in the nuts and the bolts of building the Transcontinental Railroad. Instead of just a few images, um, you're seeing a really wide, vast array, and they, they, they give, a, you know, in some ways kind of a different impression, because one of the things that they're, they're doing, and a photographer like Russell is doing, is that he is showing the progress of the railroad and then sending those back to the Board of Directors in New York City and and saying look what we're doing we built the Dale Creek trestle we built uh, we're doing things in, in Weber Canyon and that way the board of directors could show these to investors or to government officials and um, to show what they've done with the railroad